Hi, I'm Angela, the short order cook, and today I'll be showing you how to make the most fantastic chicken stew in your Dutch oven. When the weather's cold and you want something warm and comforting, you'll be craving this. Trust me, it's hearty, creamy, quite dreamy. So stick around and make sure you learn how to layer flavors. It's the key to the best chicken stew ever. Okay, let's get cooking. It does take about an hour, but don't worry. It's simple to make and tastes like you spent all day cooking. Here are the ingredients needed. There'll be some prepping and chopping. My top tip is to cut all the chicken, veggies, and potatoes into uniform sizes. This way they cook evenly and those bite-sized pieces are easy to eat. Nothing canned or processed here, just real natural foods. It's loaded with protein and a ton of flavor. My key is the seasoning and layering of those flavors. So make sure you follow the steps and don't just throw everything in. It starts with sauteing those chicken chunks in some olive oil just until seared on the outside. I'm not gonna worry about cooking it all the way through. The chicken will then be put on the side and we'll add it back later. This is the key to keeping it tender and not overcooked once the stew's all done. Next, we'll add the vegetables, the diced onion and the carrots. We'll cook those up for just a few minutes to get them softened. Once they're soft, we're gonna create a well in the middle by pushing all the veggies to the side. In the middle is where we're gonna start the roux. So we begin by adding the butter to melt it. This is going to help thicken the broth so it's more stew-like and it does add also a ton of flavor. So make sure you add the flour to that melted butter and we're gonna whisk it. Make sure you get all the bits off the bottom and combine the flour and butter. Cook this for a few minutes. You want it buttery and soft. We don't want that raw flour taste. It really needs to come together. This is also where we're gonna add the seasonings. So all those yummy flavors are gonna be added here, not at the end. This is key. Then we're gonna deglaze the pan by whisking in some white wine. If you don't want to use wine or not sure which ones to use, make sure you get the recipe link for all that information. Once it thickens and it's bubbling, we're gonna add about a quarter of the broth and again, continue to whisk. This, make sure all the flour dissolves and concentrates the flavors. Once there's no more lumps, then you can pour in the rest of the broth. At this point, we're about ready to add in the rest of the chicken and any of those juices. Get it back in the pot and add the potatoes at this time too. We're gonna let this come to a simmer. Little bitty bubbles will be starting to make their way up to the top. Now we'll put the lid on it and let the Dutch oven do the magic for the next 30 minutes. At this point, the house is probably smelling pretty good and you can stir it occasionally as needed. The final step is adding the heavy cream and the green beans. We're gonna stir those in and let those cook about five or 10 minutes, just until they're defrosted and everything is hot and ready to go. Then everything is ready to serve. So you just ladle it into some bowls. I also recommend a little squeeze of fresh lemon or some fresh parsley to add some freshness. So go to theshortordercook.com to get the full recipe for the Dutch oven chicken stew. I'm telling you, you gotta try this crazy good stew. Drop any comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.